hello everyone welcome to the engineering projects youtube channel in this video tutorial we will learn about microsoft sql server it is a re relational database management system developed by microsoft and uh, this product is built for the basic function of storing and retrieving data as required by other applications such as visual studio it can run either on the same computer or on an other across a network and uh, we will learn in the next coming video tutorials about the basics and advanced concepts of SQL server such as how to create and restore data create login and backup assign permission etc each topic explain uh, using examples uh, for the easy understanding okay so first understand what is sql server it is a software simply developed by microsoft as i have already explained it is also a ordbms operational relational database management system uh, it is platform dependent it is both uh, goi and command based software mean you can generate a database by drawing or even that with queries it support sql language uh, which is ibm product non-procedure common database and case sensitive language now the basic sql server usage are to create database maintain database to analyze the data through SQL Server Analysis Services, which is called SAS, to gen uh, generate report through SQL Server, uh, SQL Server Reporting Service, SSRS, to carry out ELT operation through SQL Server Integration Service, SSIS. It uh, it is started from 1995 until to. Uh, current date 2018 and lot of versions are changed in that but in the final version we have a lot of things to be performed as our requirement SQL server work in client server architecture hence it support two type of component a workstation and server workstation component are installed in every device in every computer where you want to use that sql server operator machine is the other name of that device these are just interface to interact with sql components such as double s ms or double s cm or profiler etc and the other component is s server component which installed in centralized server these are service provide services such as uh, give them uh, SQL queries, operations, etc. Instance of SQL Server is an installation of an individual software. It means I have here SQL Server 2012, and this is the instance, the first instance. An instance is an exact copy of the same software. I can create multiple instance to run multiple projects on the same time and perform different queries on both of them. There are two types of instance in SQL Server. The first one is default which is this and the second one is named. If I will click on connect this so it will give me the uh, default name which is uh, right after your uh, computer name forward slash SQLs express so it is a default one and you can also create the named version too which is the not default and second instance only one default instance will be supported in one sql server okay and multiple name instance will support it in individual server default instance will take server name as instance name and default instance service name is my sql server or sql express okay 
uh, we can support up to 50 instance at a single time okay uh, now what are the advantages of instance to install different versions in one machine to reduce cost to maintain production development and testing environment in visually to reduce temporary database problems to our separate security privileges and to maintain standby servers in the upcoming video tutorials we will start studying the queries and performing action through our sql server 2012 i hope this video is informative for you if you have any kind of question regarding this you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe the engineering projects youtube channel take care bye bye